Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Uh, my name is Lukman Aziz and I'm a professional musician and arranger here in Kuala Lumpur. Um, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who has been watching my videos, thank you very much. Who has been uh, uh, supporting my channel, who has subscribed to my channel, uh, thanks so much. Uh, I hope you've uh, been enjoying the contents. Uh, what I've been sharing with you is basically um, there are some uh, performances and recordings and arrangements that has been aired on national TV, uh, um, uh, especially on uh, RTM uh, TV2 or TV1. Um, it is where I work. Uh, I am a, I am an arranger, professional arranger with uh, the uh, orchestra RTM and I have been working there for 10 years. So the videos that I share with you are mainly uh, performances, uh, uh, recordings that was aired uh, live on TV. Okay, so um, today is going to be um, more of an educational video, a bit more on Sibelius. Now, I always get this question um, from, from colleagues and uh, sometimes from students. Uh, hey bro, my coda is not playing. Lah. I've got this problem with my coda when, it, uh, when, when I write on Sibelius. Uh, coda aku tak main, lah. coda aku tak play. Lah. Kenapa? Lah? Okay, so this is the thing about uh, writing uh, signs and codas on Sibelius. Yeah? Uh, this is, by the way, um, if you haven't watched uh, my video, um, look at my, uh, you can look up in my channel, there is an MNASE video that I uh, uploaded uh, called Ra'in Kan Cinta. Okay, so this is the, this is the arrangement uh, that is uh, on the video. Okay, so... Please watch it. Please, uh, please, uh, please, please share. Please share the video, and uh, I hope you enjoy it. Okay. So in this video, um, in this score, actually, sorry, um, there is um, there is a sign and coda. Okay. So there is a sign here, right? At bar seventy-seven, and yeah, sixty-eight. So seventy-eight. So seventy-seven, and then there is a DS or coda, and sign goes to. Uh, where is it? Ah, 34, right? So, lepas tu, pergi depan sikit and then goes to coda here at 63 and coda is at 78. Okay? Now, uh, ramai yang bertanya kan kadang-kadang um, kata saya punya coda, eh bro, aku punya coda tak main, dia tak dia tak boleh play um, bila sampai kat coda tu and then there is no, apa, tak ada, tak ada rehearsal mark, rehearsal mark tu dah hilang dan sebagainya. Okay, so this is how you write a coda or, or sign on Sibelius, yeah? So let me remove uh, this DS or coda here. Okay, so um, mula-mula sekali, firstly you highlight the bar, okay? You just click on the bar, okay? Right click and then go to text, other system text here and then you go to repeat. Okay, let me do that again. Okay, Highlight the bar, mana yang nak sign tu. Okay, you want to put your 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 DS or coda here. Okay, and then outside the outside the selected area here. Okay, right click, and then text, and then you go to other system text, and then we go to repeat. Yeah, dapat repeat dalam kurungan DC DS to coda. Okay, select that. Okay, there's a blinker there. Now you right click dekat situ. Now you you choose DS al coda, right? Okay, and then you drag it right at the end there. Okay, so that's for your uh, DS al coda, and then let's go to thirty four. So this sign here, again same thing. Click on the bar. Okay, at thirty four. And then right click outside the highlight area. Text again, other system text. Same thing, repeat DCDS to coda. Select that. There's a blinker there. Right click. You see the labels here? You see the symbols? That is a sign symbol. Choose any one of them. Okay. Now, sekarang ni dia kecil kan? It's, it's, it's small, right? Okay, so you highlight that. And then go to text, and then you look at the size, 8.3, very small. I normally put it at least 25, so you can see that. Just to double check, okay. Yeah, so that's your sign. Now, for the coda, okay, 
By the way, do you know what CODA actually means? Uh, for those of you, uh, maybe you can give me a comment, leave me a comment down there. What is the meaning of CODA to your understanding? It's a, it's a straightforward meaning, but uh, let me just try to uh, get your response to it. <laughs> if, anyone, if anyone wants to comment, uh, please tell me what does CODA mean? Okay. Um, for this CODA, okay, now when I delete that, okay, you see the rehearsal mark is gone, right? Now, this is how you write your coda, yeah? Um, first of all, you have to make sure... First of all, please make sure that uh, the coda area, okay? Because the coda is a completely new section, okay? So, please make sure that from here uh, to the new coda, uh, to, this, to, to the coda section, make sure that you click on layout and make sure that you split the system. Okay, you have to do this so that when it comes into the score, I will show you shortly, uh, it creates a different section. If you do not split, uh, if you do not split this section, okay, so highlight that and then you split the system. I do not want to uh, uh, click this because it's already split on my, on my score. Okay, so if you do not split the system, then the, the bar, this bar and the coda bar will be connected and that will be confusing. Okay, coda is a whole different section, so you, you have to split the system to create a new section. I'll show you shortly. Okay, so what you do is, okay, on the coda area here, okay, so you highlight that bar again. Now, press Z or Z if you're American, and this comes out. So, these are all your symbols. Z is for symbol, yeah, right? Now, don't click this coda because it's not going to do anything. See, it's still the rehearsal mark is still blank. Why? Because this is for staff. This is for one staff. If you, if you use that symbol, okay, Z, and you just use common symbols here at Koda, this only applies, this symbol only applies to this staff, which is the flute staff. Okay? I'll show you. Flute, you have that Koda there. Now, if you go to Oboe, the coda is not there. If you go to tenor, where's the coda? It's not there. Right? So, this flute, this coda sign is attached only to the flute staff. What you want to do is for the coda to attach to the whole system. That is why, uh, itulah sebabnya, bila, bila um, ramai yang um, tak, tak, tak tahu teknik ni, uh, bila nak main koda tu, Sibelius does not play your koda because the koda is not attached. This symbol is not attached to the system. Symbol ni dia tak dia tak sangkut pada system. Dia tak attached pada system. Dia hanya attached pada staff. That's why Sibelius tak play. And that is why rehearsal mark ni hilang. Okay. So what you have to do is this. Okay. So you click, uh, you highlight that bar. Okay. Z. Instead of going to common and koda, pergi ke go to more options. Right? And then, nampak, uh, you can see the coda symbol here. Now, attach to, you see that, staff and system. Make sure that you, oh, sorry. Make sure that you attach, okay, I'm going to do that again. Make sure that you attach to system. Okay? So, you select coda sign and then, you, 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 sorry, you select the coda symbol and attach to system. Click OK. And then, the rehearsal mark will appear. And if you look at the score, so you have the coda at the flute, you also have the coda at the oboe, you have the coda at every instrument. You see, alto, uh, horn, okay, it's there. Yeah, and when you play back on Sibelius, the coda will play. Let me show you. So, um, let's assume that we are here. We are at the, the S here.
that's when that's how you uh, solve the CODA problem, right? Now, um, what I mentioned just now, remember I told you that you must split the system, okay, to create a new section for the CODA. This is how it looks like, okay? So, DSL CODA, double bar here, and then you see it creates a new system there. Let's look at the horn part, for example. Ah, so, if you don't split the system, then this bar will be attached here, and that creates a cum confusion because, as I said again, CODA2 is a new section. That CODA is a new section. Okay, it's like a completely new system. So you have to create a new system and so you have to split this area here so that it creates a gap and creates the, uh, the new CODA section. That is why, um, you, that, that is why we, we split the system. Okay, so I hope uh, this, uh, this video has been helpful for you students, for my friends, colleagues and for you professionals out there who, have, who are who's, who's, uh, who's stuck uh, with, this, uh, with this problem. As I told you before in my previous video, I'm using the uh, Sibelius uh, Ultimate. Um, so, I'm not sure whether this issue has been uh, solved in the, in the uh, latest Sibelius, but if you're using previous uh, versions like 7.5 or 7 or 6, if, if anyone is still using 5 or 4, uh, this issue uh, is, is always, uh, 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 this is always a problem. If you're not, if you if you're not, if you if you do not know how to uh, uh, play your coda, or if the the coda is not playing, so using my method just now, I will guarantee you that the coda will play. Okay, so I hope this video has been helpful. If you have any questions or comments or suggestions, uh, just uh, leave your comments down below, and uh, I'll see what I can do. Okay, everyone, have a nice day. Take care and stay safe.